everyone makes mistakes. I made one on last week's blog when I changed the scripture reference that I used, but I forgot to change the book that the scripture is found in. Matthew 10th chapter and 10th verse should have been John 10th chapter and 10th verse. Did anyone notice that? We must learn from our mistakes so we won't make them again. The problem is some of us do make the same mistakes over and over and over again. I want to throw a curve at you right here. Some of the wrong things that we do are not mistakes. They are bad choices. If you get in your car and drive away not realizing that you left your driver's license in your other jacket, that is a mistake. But if you get in your car and drive away knowing that you don't have a driver's license, that is a bad choice. If you walk out of a store with an item that you forgot to pay for, that is a mistake. But if you walk out of a store with an item that you know you didn't pay for, that is a bad choice. When you do something that you don't know is a sin, that is a mistake. But when you knowingly disobey the word of God, that is a bad choice. I made a lot of bad choices in my life. I turned my back on God and then walked away from the church. Bad choices. I hung out with people that meant me no good and often sought their approval. Bad choices. I got involved with drugs and participated in criminal activities. Bad choices. What kind of choices are you making? Are they bad choices? You might go to church every Sunday. But what kind of choices do you make Monday through Saturday? You might tell your children what is right. But what kind of choices do they see you make? When I was lost, my father never stopped praying for me. That was a choice that he made. When I was running the streets, he was praying for me. When I was strung out on drugs, he was praying for me. When I was in prison, he was praying for me. My father did not live to see his prayers answered. He died three years before God saved my soul and delivered me from that lifestyle. But I believe that when dad was laying in that hospital bed in a coma, the last thing that he said to God before he took his final breath was Lord save my boy what about you are you praying for your loved ones if you are not that is another one of your bad choices Reverend Burton Barr Jr. author of Amazing Grace The Storm is Passing Over and The Hoopman Preacher books and stores now for more information, visit CobaltBooks.com and TheHoodlandPreacher.com. Reverend Burton Barr Jr., author of Amazing Grace, The Storm is Passing Over, and The Hoodlum Preacher. Books and stores now. For more information, visit CobaltBooks.com and TheHoodlumPreacher.com.